the United States has officially hit its debt ceiling, meaning it has reached the legal limit of the money Washington can borrow to pay off its bills. That amount is an eye-popping $31.4 trillion, almost 120% of America's GDP. The US Treasury has begun taking emergency measures to provide a temporary breathing space to US lawmakers. It wants Congress to decide quickly, either raise the debt limit or suspend it altogether. Washington is in a race against time to get its finances sorted. And given how things stand currently, this is as much a political battle as it is a financial one. So what is the debt ceiling? Why does it matter? And what's the political deadlock all about? Hello and welcome. This is Shubham Chauhan and you're watching First Post. The United States hit its $31.4 trillion debt cap on Thursday, raising fears of a potential fiscal crisis in the coming months. The US Treasury, following a warning last week, is set to kick in its emergency measures. What are these measures? Basically, these are temporary adjustments the Treasury is making to help the government keep paying its bills, including salaries to federal employees and Medicare providers. Reportedly, it is also stopping existing investments and suspending reinvestments of the Civil Service Retirement and Disability Fund and the Postal Service Retiree Health Benefits Fund. Also, it will be suspending the reinvestment of a government securities fund of the Federal Employees Retirement System Thrift Savings Plan. But there's a catch. These measures aren't permanent. As Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said, the period of time that extraordinary measures may last is subject to considerable uncertainty, including the challenges of forecasting the payments and receipts of the US government months into the future. I respectfully urge Congress to act promptly to protect the full faith and credit of the United States. Basically, the Treasury is expecting these measures to last until June 2023, giving US lawmakers a five-month deadline to come to a consensus, either raise a debt limit or suspend it once and for all. So what's the debt limit all about and why is it important? In simple terms, it's the amount of money that the US government can legally borrow to meet its financial obligations such as social security, military salaries and Medicare benefits payments. If the government is no longer able to borrow, it would not have enough money to pay all its bills in full and on time, including that of interest on the national debt. You see, with each government, tax cuts and spending have increased. As a result, borrowings have slowly crept up too. Evidently, the debt limit has been raised 78 times since 1960, giving room to government for additional borrowings. Under the Biden administration, the Congress in 2021 had fixed this limit at $31.4 trillion, which has been breached now. Let's then come to the politics of the matter. As things stand, the Republicans have a thin majority in the House of Representatives and the Democrats in the Senate. Such a divided Congress has meant a deadlock is inevitable. Republicans say they will not increase the debt limit unless Biden promises a cut in spending. The Biden administration and Democrats have made it amply clear that they do not intend to agree to any budget cuts. They believe the limit should be raised with no strings attached, since it merely allows the US to honor previous borrowing commitments often passed by both parties. Indeed, this political showdown isn't new. In 2011, the Obama administration was in a similar position, tantalizingly close to defaulting on its debt. Republicans had then maintained the same demand of cutting spending in exchange for a debt ceiling increase. In the end, a deal was reached that was partly brokered by Joe Biden, then the vice president, but not before some heavy turmoil in the financial markets. So here's where we are now. Congress has five months to hammer out an agreement or face the risk of a debt default. Both sides have dug in their heels, leading to a political showdown. Who do you think will blink first? Will the Biden administration be able to resolve the deadlock? Do let us know in the comments.